What's going on everybody, it's Cyblox here, and before I start today's video, I would like to take a deep moment to apologize for my background footage not being very clear. Uh, essentially my Elgato was not recording when I thought it was, so you're seeing my PlayStation recording but being recorded by my Elgato, which is basically giving us this choppier looking gameplay. I promise next time I make a video, however, that this will be fixed, so I do apologize and thank you for sticking with me. Today I would like to take a moment to give some commentary on the new ever elusive Warzone map. Uh, it's going to be coming out in March. Oh, why March, you might ask? Well, let's see. Last year, around this time of year, in March, Warzone got released. Yeah, I better shock the entire internet with that fact, but we're going with it. And before I start looking at the footage and showing you all the footage about why I can almost confirm this 100%, I do want to give some notice to Modern Warzone, which is a renowned leaker in the car community, and he's been pretty reputable as well. And before I show his tweet, I would just like to mention basically some common facts you and I both know about Warzone right now. In Verdansk, uh, you probably never paid attention to it, but if you did, you know that Verdansk map is an 8x8 grid. So it's basically 8 longitudinally, 8 latitudinally. Uh, 8 squares basically up and across, in case you don't understand. However, if you were to count those squares, only about 6 to 7, 6x7 seven are playable. So you know you have the ocean that you can never get to, you have some mountain ranges you can't get to. Give or take a little bit more, or more than 6x7, but that's basically what it is. Now what Modern Warzone is saying is it's going to be bigger by one square in each direction. It's going to be a 9x9 map, this new Warzone map is, the Fire Team map. But we don't really have a specific amount of cubes that are available. Now, from what I'm seeing on several other leakers that aren't as reputable, it's going to be a bigger percent playable than it was in Verdansk with that 6x7. So, from what I can say by the look of it, it's going to be a much bigger map. But this brings in two different questions I have, and surely you have as well. Number one, the vehicles. We'll be getting the attack chopper that we had for like two days in the Black Ops Cold War update, where it was basically there were turrets on the helicopter that made the invisibility glitch be an issue. Or will we be getting a snowmobile because that was in Fireteam? And the second thing is the mechanics. Now you might be asking, Oh, Cyblox, why are you why are you talking about the mechanics, man? I thought it's just the same thing with your breath. No. Because if you think about it, the five team maps are their own thing. They are meant to have their own gameplay style away from slide canceling and everything like that. They're meant for a different play style. And the mechanics in Warzone and Modern Warfare versus Blackout and the five team maps, to my knowledge, again, I don't have Cold War, is that Modern Warfare, it all comes with the doors. Why are the doors a big issue? It's a bigger issue than you think. For instance, in Warzone and Modern Warfare, if you swing open the door, or if you even peek it and you get your body behind it, and if you're an infected player, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The door glitch. If you get your body behind a slightly open door, and you get in the way of it, nobody can get to you unless they throw in like a C4 and explosive. Aside from that, if they run into the door, they won't be in, you'll basically lock them out until you let them in. Will that happen in Black Ops Cold War? No, it hasn't happened yet. It's not on the fire team maps, to my knowledge. Essentially, if you open a door, you either open or close it. There's no pushing it. There's no peeking or anything. Again, I know that's the case in Blackout. Cold War, I'm not so sure about that. So if I am wrong about that, please correct me in the comments. I do like criticism. Now, if we talk about the scheme of Verdansk, door glitching was a very prominent thing. It would actually give people wins sometimes. I'm actually guilty of it because I tried it out the first time. I was like, this is kind of funny to troll people with. Now, I feel like this will free that issue. That issue will no longer be a thing if the doors are like they are in Black Ops Cold War. But again, there's that counter argument, right? How the Black Ops Cold War, they Treyarch made a map, it was Rebirth Island, it was Alcatraz basically. They made Rebirth Island, but it was ported to Modern Warfare's engine where the door mechanics transferred over. So if the fire team maps are bridged together and transferred over to the Modern Warfare engine to be played in Warzone, I believe the doors might be as they are right now, but what do you all think below? But let's move on to the next topic. This is the part where I show you the gameplay of what I'm talking about. Now, if you remember... Way before Warzone came out, many people, including myself, made videos, and I even streamed it, I got a lot of reception, about how the Warzone map was basically the Spec Ops maps tied together. You know, you could see Kovoda in the distance from Paladin, you could see Operation Headhunter from Kovoda, you could see all sorts of things, you could see how they would bridge together. And basically, every one of us made videos saying how this is going to be the Warzone map, and sure enough it is. And even though it's Bayesian reasoning, it does make sense in the long run. For instance, there are some parts of the Ski Slopes map, I believe it is, that you can see some forest, and there's some parts of the forest map that you can see Ski Slopes. But what really kind of makes this a little more controversial and why it's not entirely polished is the new Sanatorium map, I believe it's called, in the desert, that just got released. And what's interesting about it is if you look at this glitch that people have done, to get on top of the sky barrier, which is a death barrier, and they can walk around on it. I don't know how to do this glitch. Again, I don't own the game. 
Essentially, what they do, and they're all credited, you can see the name at the top of the Reddit post, what they're all doing is they're looking down at the map, and you can see the entire vast area of what the fire team or even potential new Warzone map might look like, and you can see it's massive, it goes beyond the fucking horizons. However, it depends on the map what you can see of what goes where. Uh, this Senatory map is an issue because even though it's in the desert, if you look around, you could see the forest, which is where that forest map might take place in fire team. But in fire team, you can't really see that in the forest map. If you go above it, you can't see the desert, so it doesn't work both ways. And on top of that, again, since the footage isn't in front of me, I can't really validate this, but I'm pretty certain that the desert map here, Sanatorium, you can't really see ski slopes. Uh, which you can see ski slopes on top of the forest map for fire team. It may seem confusing. I'm sorry if I did confuse you, but essentially it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, will they bridge these maps together by compressing them a little bit? I don't entirely know, but from what I can tell, it looks like this could be on the same map, but the desert aspect of it, if it is a desert sanatorium, uh, it doesn't feel like it's connected anywhere else, so they'll have to make that work or they might just exclude it altogether. But I don't think they're going to do that. And why do I think they're not going to exclude the map altogether? Well, simply, Sanatorium, as well as the other fire team maps, are named WZ underscore the name. Which basically means if you're a non-bookworm and a simpleton, Warzone underscore the name. Basically implying, hey, bastard, this is a Warzone map, or it could be potential. Now, of course, this could be a placeholder from the future. Maybe before fire team's name got consensualized, it was called Warzone 2.0. Who fucking knew? Activision's very cheap in marketing. But we can very well allege that this Warzone underscore whatever the name is, the WZ, is basically signifying this will be the new Warzone map. March is coming up, we haven't had any trailers, and Warzone's trailer wasn't released until like about a week before Warzone was even conceptualized and approved. Now, before the Warzone came out, there was like a timer, which basically was like a classified space on the main menu of Modern Warfare. You know, back before Modern Warfare lost its identity in the store, but Modern Warfare basically had like a little wedge in the main menu say classified. It was a countdown to Warzone. It won't be this way, um, but it'll be a new map, it'll be a new experience, and it might revitalize the game a little bit more. Now, if you didn't think Fire Team is going to be the new map, and you're just hearing about this for the first time, let me know what your opinions are, how do you feel about this. Uh, if you think that this is not going to be the case, let me know what you think will be the case. Do you think there will even be a new Warzone map? Um, and do you think it's going to be full of bugs and glitches like the haunting was in downtown, whereas if you went around on console or PC, regardless of your platform, at nighttime in downtown, you'd have about like 3 or 4 frames per second, a lot of pings and latency and packet loss. Yeah, so do you think it'll be like that? I personally think it will, it's Treyarch, uh, their caliber has gone down over the years, their map making is pretty much atrocious, but what do you all think? That's just my four cents, I'd like to know yours, and that being said, I'm Cyberlox, I'm signing out, and take care.